my name is Jessica Libor, and I am an American artist who received her Master of Fine Arts from the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts in 2014. I work out of my studio in Philadelphia, and I also serve as an art professor at a local college. My work is about the feminine protagonist creating her own personal mythology and meaning. In life, our choices help us discover who we are and who we are going to be. It is through this process of self-discovery that we begin to know ourselves. Through using symbology and tropes found within fairy tales, I explore the concept of the Virgin's Promise, the process of self-discovery that the heroine faces that forces her to turn inwards and find her own identity, making choices all her own against prevailing odds. I thought of the idea for a show called Wild Love in 2020 actually, while we were down in lockdown in March, and I have been creating the concepts for it for all of 2020 and all of 2021 for the past four months, I would say. So it's definitely been a long journey and um, I was very inspired by fairy tales and also I really wanted to show a exhibit about feminine strength because I felt like I had tapped into my own strength in a way that I did not know was possible just with all of the things going on in the world and I wanted to show through through taking inspiration from these women in fairy tales who were depictions of strong um, you know women who forged their own path I wanted to depict something that especially women can relate to so that they are inspired and invigorated and uplifted by these paintings. And I also wanted them to be very, very beautiful and very just aesthetically, um, you know, something that really draws you into them. And so I used oil paints and um, gold and silver leaf um, to really capture that, that precious, um, some, the, the feeling of something that is precious. I wanted that to be the feeling when you look at each painting like a jewel. So um, so that's kind of like the process. And you know, I, 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 I photographed different models. I used photography that I had had for a while um, of different models that I photographed throughout the years because a lot of models were not available because of COVID-19. Um, so I used those references to create new worlds. And um, another thing that I really wanted to do with this um, this body of work is to create create a world that you could step into where everything is everything is right and everything is exciting and um, that feeling like when you are a little kid and you don't know what's around the next corner and you have that excitement everything seems magical I wanted that to be part of my paintings as well so that when people see them they capture that excitement and exuberance of you know when they really just felt like the whole world was full of magic. Our story begins in the heart of winter as I began creating works for the show Wild Love in earnest. super cold out today so I brought my tea um, it is dandelion tea it's super good so here are all the pieces or they will be my pieces but they're just supports right now and um, I'm super excited to turn these into something magical so here we go so I just finished taping this um, this large panel um, so I'm taping the edges so that when I put it up on the easel and I start painting on it the edges which are this beautiful um, well you'll see them but they're a beautiful wooden um, exposed wood color so I don't want those to get paint on them I want them to be really pristine so I just taped the edge all along and um, so now 
it is time to start painting. Well, it's six o'clock and I have been in the studio for about five hours today and I've uh, gotten a lot done on this piece. So I wanna show you this piece. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but it's the one with the leopard and I'm obsessed with it. Super happy with how it's coming along. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do some silver leafing, maybe some gold leafing, and uh, yeah, just still a lot of paint workings to do, but I'm, I'm really happy with the tone of it, and um, I'm, I'm happy to share this with you guys. In the painting Wild Things, a young lady steps forward holding a parasol over her while engaging the viewer in a direct gaze. Is she the explorer in this world, or the queen of this strange domain? Beside her crouches a leopard-like domestic cat, which has symbolic roots in the ancient idea of the soul being externalized from the body in an animal form. The landscape is pastel and candy-colored, like a fantastic vision from a dream. The color captures the sense of discovery in uninitiated youth, when something new, exotic, exciting, and unfamiliar is around every corner waiting to be discovered. It is also a metaphor for the heroine's discovery of herself and her burgeoning sense of autonomy. I continued painting throughout the long winter. I began a painting called The Shepherdess, which depicts a female shepherdess with a wolf beside her, which is inspired by the idea of taming of the ego. Hello friends. Okay, so the snow has melted and spring is coming. I'm actually outside in short sleeves. I'm actually doing a little photo shoot because I made this dress recently and I just want to document it. It's part of the creative process. So I'm doing this little photo shoot in the woods and um, yeah, I'm just enjoying not having to wear a coat, right? I can't wait for the spring to come. So um, an update on my pieces though. So I have been working so hard on them, but I worked too much and I actually got tendonitis. So something I've struggled with since I was a child and I actually needed to take a few weeks off for them to heal because I overextended myself. So um, that's been just really hard because I'm behind. So I actually pushed out the show Wild Love for another month. So it's gonna be at the end of May instead of the end of April. So hopefully that gives me enough time. My hands are feeling so much better though. Like it just needed these extra couple days. So. Actually, tomorrow I'm going to go back into the studio again, start painting. So, really excited for that. In April, I began a painting called The White Deer, inspired by a fairy tale of the same name that involves a princess and a very magical white deer. I want people to be able to look at these and to draw parallels to their own life in some way. Um, so I want them to be really deep and meaningful to me so that other people can feel that meaning. Um, I'm really excited to see how everything comes together. I think the biggest challenge was nobody wants to come out of their houses. <laughs> so I think that that was definitely the biggest challenge planning an art show and knowing that people are, you know, 
not as willing to come to someplace physically. Luckily that there's a lot of technology available now that can solve that for you. So people can tune into your show um, and you can like broadcast it on Zoom. Um, you can use different software technologies that make it feel like you're actually at a gallery. So that has definitely been helpful. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's been a big, big deal. Um, but another challenge that I think that I had as I created these was just overcoming my own kind of um, uh, anxieties because it was it was a difficult year you know everyone was very isolated and it was hard to be away from friends and family and um, you know people that you love um, or even just like social events that I didn't realize how much I really missed you know going to gallery openings and you know checking out everything in New York and um, you know I didn't I didn't go to another city you know so um, or even within my own city, everything was closed. So it was just, it was just a difficult year and I definitely felt like I struggled um, just emotionally this year. And I actually felt like the artwork and having this goal of having wild love, um, I felt like it really was like a lifeline for me in that it helped me create a world that I wanted to step into where everything was okay. And it gave me something to work towards. It really gave me a purpose. And um, yeah, art can really be a solace and, a, and it can give you so much joy and no matter what else is happening in the world. So that's what I love about it. And I hope that that comes through in the paintings. I think that I want people to be uplifted. I want them to be inspired. And I want them to feel a sense of kinship with all of the women that have gone before them throughout all the centuries and all of the millennia because the work in my, my newest body of art in Wild Love is very historically influenced and it's very influenced by fables and lore that have been around for centuries. And these are all paintings of women and um, women and animals and um, that are very inspired by fairy tales and lore. And so they definitely have a sense to them of being, being passed down from generation to generation. And, you know, I just want people to feel a sense of kinship with all the other women who have been before them and, you know, our unique um, struggles, our unique strengths, and really to take ownership of their life um, in a way that these heroines do that I'm portraying. And so I want women especially to be very inspired by this. And of course, I want men to be inspired by this as well. Um, and anybody who, who looks at this, um, I want them to be inspired and um, to look at their lives in a kind of a more adventurous way. Like it's a story and they are the heroine of that and they get to make the choices that lead them to have their own happily ever after. So that's what I hope people take away from this.